Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. Have you ever gotten burnt while accidentally touching a hot pan? We all know that disgruntled feeling of committing a known mistake, but only if we could see how heat flows. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could visualize the way heat travels through space and matter? Scientists and engineers have been trying to solve such problems even before we could think about them, and one way of describing these problems is in terms of equations. These equations, called differential equations, are studied widely in mathematics, science, and engineering. Differential equations are so widespread that they can explain virtually anything, ranging from the motion of celestial bodies to interactions between neurons. The partial differential equations are the equations with more than one unknown function and their derivatives. Partial differential equations relate various phenomena that at first might seem unrelated. Take for example the propagation of light through space, which can be explained by a second-order partial differential equation called the wave equation. This equation also explains the propagation of sound in the atmosphere. The reason behind the same equation describing both light and sound waves is that both of them are essentially energy propagating through a medium. Furthermore, Heat conduction can also be explained by another second-order partial differential equation called the heat equation. The heat equation also explains other seemingly unrelated diffusion phenomena. In addition, the Black-Scholes equation used in finance is also related to the heat equation. The problems defined in various fields by partial differential equations can be studied by solving them using CAE tools. CAE tools are used for problems in the analysis of various structures, problems in fluid dynamics involving the flow of fluids, and even the problems considering heat transfer. But the systems considered in such problems are almost always complex and continuous. Then how can we solve these problems? Well, one way the method helps in this is by dividing large systems into smaller systems. These smaller systems are simpler than the large ones and are easier to solve for the unknown variables. Then the solved equations are assembled back into the model which explains the larger system. In earlier times, engineers used to solve these equations by hand. This task involved solving complex equations and was rigorous. It was the same until the 1960s. But in 1970, an American engineer by the name of John Swanson founded Swanson Analysis Systems, which later came to be known as ANSYS. ANSYS is a CAE software. It has the capability of performing modeling for various physical models like turbulence, heat transfer, and combustion. Meshing, which is the division of complex geometries into simpler elements like triangles or quadrilaterals, helps perform complex simulations in no time. With the addition of high computing power, the benefits become numerous. First of all, the accuracy of the results is exceptional. This is because traditional sketching of prototypes took a lot of time and effort with chances of error, but by using CAE softwares, the parameters cannot be overlooked and thus accurate results are obtained. Moreover, there is no need to manufacture prototypes as it can be easily done in the software in addition to the analysis of forces on the components. Along with that, the software gives a better insight into the design parameters and reduces the number of hardware prototypes needed. All in all, it gives better productivity and is less expensive for designing. In addition to the use of CAE tools for computational fluid dynamics, the availability of computer-aided designing software like SpaceClaim also helps in developing computer models of three-dimensional solids. This makes the simulation and analysis of products via solid models a lot easier as compared to the manufacturing and testing of prototypes. But it doesn't end here. After the simulation and analysis, Oftentimes, there is a need for knowing the parameters of calculations and simulated models of fluid flows. Not just that, the smoothness of the outer surface can also affect its interaction with the surrounding. Thus, streamlines can be helpful in knowing the smoothness of fluid flow around the objects in addition to finding the values of various engineering parameters. 
All of this can be easily achieved in CFD Post, a post processor tool for visualization and analysis of results. All the things discussed above are essential for any engineer focused on advanced computational fluid dynamics. And the tools discussed above can be obtained in a single click on the internet. But we all know how the single click leads to a rabbit hole of many more clicks when finally we have had enough and are stuck with that familiar disgruntled feeling. But as they say, where there's a will, there's a way. And why not so? Because yes, there is a way after all. A way specifically chosen for the ones who are willing to stand out. For those who need the right knowledge for the right place and for those who need it right now more than ever. This way is right below in that description box waiting patiently for you. So go ahead and choose your path wisely. And as always, see you next time. Bye.